Okay, in this episode, we're going to get to grinding on the keel. We're going to take her outside. It was making a hell of a mess in the garage. We take it outside, and then we're going to coat her with some Rust Bond Primer Sealer. And then uh, get her all ready to go. Get it prepared for the Bondo. Starting to remove everything. On the other side, it was making a hell of a mess in the garage. So I got her moved outside on the bucket of the ROK. And I'm going to get after it with the grinder. We're going to take it right down to bare metal as best we can. All right, here we go. worth of work still got, still got a little more to do I got the not the majority off and it's starting to rain so we'll get her moved back in Okay, so after a few days of needle gunning, grinding, pounding, comes to a point where it's uh, got to be pretty nice, but I also don't want to do this the rest of my life. So that's about as good as it's going to get. It was in pretty rough shape, but I'm going to wipe it down. I'm going to pick up some, uh, some Rust Bond Primer Sealer to uh, coat it and then uh, we'll get started with some Bondo, smooth it out and start okay. getting it looking good. And get ready to start painting this, gonna remove this cable. Just buzz it off here. Okay, got some de-waxer surface prep. I'll wipe this all down with a nice clean rag. Get all the dirt off of it. Okay, we got the keel all wiped down, degreased. We're gonna mix up the primer. It's Rust Bond Primer Sealer. It's a uh, two-part epoxy. Bonds with the rust, kills it, and uh, seals it all up good. And it, you can use a lot of different coats on top of it. It's compatible with a lot of different things, but let's see what that looks like. It's bright green. It's got a two part. It's the part A. It's the part B. This here, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks kind of clear. We gotta gotta give this a good mix. Get this all mixed up real good. That you don't have to mix. That one's ready to go. But I think what we're gonna do is I think Probably 12 ounces. We'll mix up 12 ounces of that and see how far that takes us. I'm going to brush it on. We'll see how this goes. See if it's enough. We can always mix up a little more if we need. Let's 
see that bright green color. I'll put the converter in. Let's see that's closer to seven, so we'll go fourteen. Now we'll mix this real good. And make sure you scrape up the sides real good. And all around the bottom. Mix it at least a good, good two or three minutes. Get it incorporated really well. Okay, it's all dried off real nice. You can use this old throwaway brush. Put this right up here. Start in the back side. on there you can see how that levels itself out it's almost like an epoxy pour you see that that fills in all those little dips and crevices and penetrates it real well but we're gonna let this harden up and then we will flip it over do the other side okay so it's been a couple days this is all nice and dry now Let's see how that did how that dried up it's all just flat as can be like glass now this is made so other stuff will still stick to it yet I'm still gonna scuff it up a little bit whenever I put the uh, the body putty on but yep that's what it looks like we're gonna flip it over and get the other side done